good day once again. So at this time, I will going to present to you my community organizing. So I choose a geographic community of Barangay Maanas, Municipality of Medina, Province of Misamis Oriental. But since the barangay have a large demographic area, so I only focus into a specific poro, which is the poro bottom. So here is my process that I did and guides me to my community study where it anchored to the framework of Orlando Benvia. So the first step is the pre-entry outside in which under this is the selection of a community or a particular area and then gather a basic preliminary information and then after that is to hand in the communication letter. So the next step is the entry into the community in which during this time, I did a courtesy call to the formal and informal leaders and then I gather a community profile and I also asked some key informants about the most dominant problem that exists in the community and after that is the preparation for the engagement of the community people. So after the entry into the community is the immersion with the people. So under this is the engaging self to the community. Next is the building good relationship or establishing rapport to the community people. The Barangay Maanas was covered with 189 hectares of land that can be classified according to use, agricultural, residential, school sites, business establishment, and land use for social service and recreational center. The concentration of households in Park 5 and 6 is attributed to its accessibility to institutional facilities such as Barangay Hall, Elementary School, Barangay Health Station, and Chapel, as well as Barangay Site where the household were located. The population and household are distributed in seven Porok, with most households located in Porok 2 and 5. The less number of households reside in Porok 1. The barangay have 6,796 total number of individual with 1,302 combined total number of household and families. There were three identified problems during the conduct interview of some K informants and residents of the community. This problem is classified according to ranking. First is the personalization of a coastal area. Next is the dangerous stray dogs, which is very common in a community. And lastly is the arising case of a curfew violators. The people decided to focus on one problem considering the availability of resources and materials and the ability of people to handle and manage in problem solving. So here is my problem tree. Based on the gathered data during the interview of random residents and some key informants of the community, the majority concern is poor sanitation of a coastal area. This became a major concern of the people in Borok 4 since the area is located in north side of the barangay in its nearby shoreline. So as you can see there, the tree is divided into three parts, the roots, the trunk, and the branches. So at the center part, is the issue or problem that is need to be analyzed which is the poor sanitation of a coastal area so under the trunk is the root parts which shows the factors why this problem exists so the following are the causes first is the improper waste disposal next is lack of cooperation from the residents then lack of hygienic practice and then high density of living lack of monitoring, lack of discipline, and illiteracy of people. So at the upper part of the tree are the effects of this problem. So these are the pollution, the increasing rate of diseases, increased health issue, and healthy environment and can cause a threat for the health of the residents. So here is my intervention plan. So the goal is that at the end of December 2021, the coastal area of Puro Cuatro Barangay Maanas will be clean. So the first objective is to obtain a clean coastal and sea within area of Puro Cuatro Barangay Maanas. So the program, project, or the activities are first, dissemination of information to the community people. Next is to have a community assembly. Next is the preparation of the needed materials and resources. And lastly is to conduct a coastal cleanup drive. So for the time frame, it's probably November, to December 2021. So for the budget or the source of funds, it will be on the Barangay Local Government Unit. And then for the evaluation is the cleanliness of a coastal and sea area will be obtained 
through a collaborative participation of a community people. And then, the next objective is to maintain and preserve cleanliness on both coastal and sea area of Poro Cuatro Barangay Maanas. So, the program, project, and activities are first, making a signage or poster indicated there a proper way of cleanliness. Next is to choose a watchman or a bandai dagat or kapaligiran who is living nearby the coastline and assign them regarding on maintaining cleanliness of the area. And lastly is... Um, the chosen watchman must conduct a regular seaborne patrol. So, at the time frame would be um, November or December 2021. And for the budget and source of funds, it, it will be on the Barangay Local Government. And then, for the evaluation, the preservation of the cleanliness will be monitored by the designated watchman. So here is my resource mapping. As you can see here in illustration, the barangay is located along the national highway. The barangay is also a big creek in which it connected to the sea. The creek also provides a support to some rice field in barangay. The Purok 2 and some part of Purok 6 and 7 are the elevated area in which it is cultivated by corn, rice fields, mango tree, banana farm, and coconut plantation. For instance, the Porok 5, Porok 4, and Porok 3 are considered as the coastal areas. There are also two schools found in Porok 5, which are the Don Gregorio Elementary School and the Maanas National High School. Other institutional facilities like Barangay Hall, Barangay Health Center, Barangay Covered Court, and Daycare Center was covered by the Puro Cuatro. On some part of the Puro Cuan, there is a factory there which is the Axilom Resources Corporation where most of the residents are working there as a factory worker. That's all for my community organizing and thank you very much for listening.